6, all eyes now on South Carolina for the first in the South Republican presidential primary this Saturday. The contentious race between former President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is heating up with both candidates putting more money into ads ahead of the primary election. WIS reporter and weekend anchor Ashley Jones joins us live in the studio after sitting down with Haley to talk about the race so far and what's next if she loses the South Carolina GOP primary. Ashley. While well, trailing in the polls, Nikki Haley has been touring her home state for the last 10 days. It's what her campaign calls the Beast of the Southeast bus tour. I sat down with her as she addressed her true motivation for staying in this GOP race, Trump's comments about Major Michael Haley, and her performance in recent polls. I'm not going anywhere. Despite recent polls showing Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley behind former President Donald Trump, during our one-on-one -on -one interview, she reiterated she is not planning to drop out of this race. At the end of the day, we have a country to save, and I'm not going to stop until we save her. But Haley, do you think you'll win here in South Carolina? Because I know you mentioned President Biden, but we have to remember that this is a primary election. You're still up against um, former President Donald Trump. So do you really think you're going to win, especially with what the polls are showing right now? Here well, the Carolina? polls showed the same thing in New Hampshire, and we moved 25 points in the last three weeks of the election. But many continue to question what's Haley's true motivation to stay in the GOP race. Political experts assume Haley's gearing up for 2028 or could be positioning herself in case Trump can no longer run. Right? My reason for running is because we have a country to save. I don't want my kids to live like this. I don't want Americans to continue to live in chaos and anger and division and fear. That's not who we are as Americans. Back in August of 2023, Haley took to the debate stage alongside several other Republican candidates vying for the GOP nomination. A moderator asked this question. You all signed a pledge to support the eventual Republican nominee. If former President Trump is convicted in a court of law, would you still support him as your party's choice? Please raise your hand if you would. Haley was one of many to raise her hand, showing she would support Trump if selected the GOP nominee. Months later, it seems Haley changed her mind. I don't think about who I'm going to support because I think you should be asking Donald Trump if he's going to support me. Our focus is to finish this race. We started with 14 people in the race. I've defeated a dozen of the fellas. I just have one more I've got to catch up to. Haley also responded to comments from Donald Trump during a rally in Conway when the GOP frontrunner questioned the whereabouts of her husband, Major Michael Haley, who was in the midst of a year-long deployment in Africa with the South Carolina Army National Guard. Where's her husband? Oh, he's away. He's away. Where, what happened to her husband? What happened to her husband? Where is he? He's gone. You don't go and talk negatively about military members. That's off limits to anybody. And the fact that he continues to do it shows that he doesn't understand what that sacrifice is and shows that he doesn't understand the importance of keeping those military men and women safe. And that was the problem. And I think that, you know, look, I don't think when you talk like that, I don't think you're qualified to have a driver's license. I don't think you're qualified to be president of the United States. But right now, Trump has the backing of all but one Republican and the state's congressional delegation. Almost all statewide elected officials, including the governor and a number of state lawmakers. Look, I've never had the political elite. I didn't have it when I ran against the longest serving legislator in a primary in South Carolina. I didn't have it when I ran for governor and I don't want it now. But think about it. You know, you ask me about Governor McMaster. That's the same person I defeated when I ran for governor the first time. You ask me about these political elite and everybody over at the state house. Those are the same people that I forced them to have to start showing their votes on the record instead of hiding their voice votes. Those are the same people I required to disclose their income because I thought South Carolinians needed to know who paid them. Those are the same people where I vetoed half a billion dollars worth of their pet projects because taxpayers didn't need to be paying that money. So no, do I have friends in the political elite? I don't. Well, Haley says despite what happens on Saturday, she plans to stay in this GOP race. Each poll conducted in South Carolina this month show the former president with a lead of at least 20 points. So far, Trump has won 63 delegates, while Haley has won 17. All right, Ashley, thank you so much. And we want to say as well, we did reach out to Donald Trump's campaign for a sit-down interview, but have not heard back.